Hello everybody, this is Bazker back again with another episode of Banish. This is episode 3. And in the last video, we built our pasture for our sheep. We got our fishing dock up and running. We built a house out here for our fishermen and looks good. We've got a fisherman living there, so that is awesome. Um, he does have firewood now, so our chopper that we built is putting out firewood for people and we have 76 firewood currently stored and this is fuel actually there are other types of fuel but for now this is firewood that it's talking about because that's all we're creating and you can see on our chopper he's put out 116 uh, pieces of firewood so he's doing a little better than I thought he would um, not sure how long that'll last we'll probably have to put in something bigger before long or another one of him but right now he's doing good so we're gonna leave him be um, we haven't collected any wool yet and we built our gatherers hut and this actually finished probably at the end of the last episode and I just didn't catch it um, and for anybody who watched that last episode if there was a phone ringing at the very end uh, sorry about that been a busy time around the house today and I am recording several videos at one time so um, hopefully the rest of these will go without interruption um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in one gatherer here and it'll be a bit but we'll see that he'll collect a minimum of three foods I believe or it might be a minimum of four um, but that's good food diversity is good for keeping this health up um, it's one of the biggest things you can do for your citizens besides putting in an herbalist or a hospital is um, keeping their food diversity there. More diverse food means happier and healthier citizens. Um, one of the other things we did right there towards the end of the episode is I told them to clear out all the resources in this area and we were down to I think 60 um, wood and maybe 30 stone and you can see now we're up quite a bit on that really good on the uh, wood here and let's see we probably need to clear out some more though because we could really use some more stone um, for the short term I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to tell them to collect the stone that I can see right here that's just the stone collecting tool they won't collect anything else our laborers will go and do that uh, I got a barn that is being built here for the herbalist or for the gatherers excuse me and right now it looks like both of our builders are living in this log cabin but eventually they should cycle out and we will have our gatherer living there um, we might have one builder living there but hopefully we don't have two um, it'll be really inefficient for him otherwise and I'm kind of trying to clear clear my way over here uh, clear out all of this or a good portion of it so that we can get over here to build us our uh, trading dock um, we need seeds in order to grow crops we can probably go ahead and build some crops um, whether or not crops are an efficient thing to do or not um, just kind of depends on your situation sometimes they're really efficient sometimes they're not um, usually later in the game they get a lot more efficient than they would be um, during the normal game or during the early game but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put one in mostly just to see what we got to pick from here and it looks like we only have soybeans at the moment mmm so in order to get other seeds to grow we're gonna have to put in a trader in order to get things like strawberries and corn and that kind of stuff um, I am going to go ahead and we'll start this up. We can always get rid of it if we decide it's not efficient enough. It might be more efficient to put him in the gatherer's hut or in the uh, fishing dock. We'll see. Um, but we are running low on food, so hopefully this will give us another good source of food. Um, in Colonial Charter, they've broken this out so that crop fields are things that you eat. Uh, so it's all food that you can eat. And plantations grow uh, things like cotton, flax, tobacco, um, trading crops and things you can make stuff out of. So you can make cloth out of cotton for instance. Um, so that's something we're gonna have to play with. I haven't used it um, but I believe it works just like the farm tool. Um, I am gonna go ahead and just put one in. I'm not sure that I'm gonna keep it here. I just want to see what it says. It's a soybean. So see I'm not 100% certain what's going on there. Um, it looks different. I actually really like the way that looks. So if you can grow anything there, that might be kind of cool. 
but it's not going to be correct. And it might just be that soybeans are also a plantation type crop that you can make thing, other things out of, so that might be why we can grow it there. We'll see when we get something um, like tomatoes or something that wouldn't be a plantation crop. We'll see how that works. For now, I'm just going to delete that. It's just with this tool here. Alright, so, we've got things moving along here pretty good. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so we're collecting a minimum of three things. Um, hopefully, we'll add a fourth one in here at some point. And they should be taking this stuff to this barn, whether or not they are, I'm not sure. Ah, and there we go. See, we got to gather. We're 11 and 12 years old. Wow. But hey, they are happy, so we're not going to ask questions. And you can see we're finally collecting a little bit of wool. It's not much, we can't really do much with that, but it's there. Um, wool can be used for making things, but it could also be used for simply trading items away, which could be really good for us too. And we've got quite a bit of stone now. We are going to need some more iron, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna take out this section here. Um, I do want to kind of keep it small just to not overload my laborers with things, but right now they're not doing anything else, so let's get them doing something. And we have 19 adults, and we have 6, 7, 8 houses. So we probably need at least one more house, if not two, in order to even things out a bit. Um, question just becomes is what do we want to build? Do we want to build more log cabins out and about, or... What? Well, maybe we need to think about what else we need to build before we decide that. Um, one thing that we don't have, and questionable on whether or not we need it or not this early in the game, but we could build forest, a forest lodge. Um, what a forester lodge will do is he'll plant trees and he'll cut trees, or he'll do just one or the other based on what you tell him to do. Um, so we could put him in and tell him to just grow trees fill in the forest. I think I am going to do that. Um, I'm going to put him right... let's see... let's put him... kind of looking where the radius is versus um, where um, our woodcutter is, but since that's a... Or our chopper is, but since that's a temporary chopper I'm not too terribly concerned about where he is right now because we can put in a better one. Um, and I'll show you a neat trick we can do with that here in just a second. Um, I think I'm going to put the forest lodger right here. Um, so in that radius that you saw in this yellow circle, he'll be able to plant trees or cut trees or uh, whatever we tell him to do. Do both or just one or the other. I'll probably have him do both for the short term. We actually have a pretty good way of getting trees right now because we're clearing out a bunch of stuff, so uh, we may turn off the cutting. But I want to show you a trick with this. So if I go into the storage unit here, this is our stockpiles. And you have a couple different kinds. You've got the a regular stockpile, which is like this one. And it's um, you can see it's already full, so we actually do need another stockpile one way or the other. But this will hold anything, any, any of the various types of stockpile options. It'll hold them all. But you also have one for just wood, just fuel, just stone, just iron, and just materials. So like sand and clay and that kind of thing. Um, what you can do, and it'll work with um, either of these two, but we're going to do go with logs because we don't want to put on a whole bunch of other stuff on here with just the logs. And if you put, I'm going to put it, um, let's see, let's do like, I'm going to put one space between this building and um, between the gatherers building and this and then that way we can put a road in between there. But I'm going to build this up as a one by section. It doesn't need to be two. You could if you wanted. I'm going to move it up to right about here. And you might be wondering why am I building this odd looking stockpile that's only one uh, block wide? Well, that's because there's a trick to this. What will happen is, is, is this guy down here gathers wood. He'll put the wood right here. And then through either a bug or through design, I'm not sure which, but this will act, this stockpile will act as a conveyor belt. So if I put a wood chopper right here, what he'll do is he'll come over to the stockpile to get wood, but instead of coming all the way down here, he'll just pick it up right here. So this guy puts the wood on it here, this guy picks it up right here. 
He doesn't care where it's at. He just knows that there's wood in that stockpile. And he's not picking up a specific object from that stockpile. He's just saying, stockpile, give me a piece of wood. Um, so that works to our advantage. Basically, we have a conveyor belt. So that makes him really efficient because he can just put his wood right here. And it makes him really efficient because he can pick up the wood from right here. And if we put another stockpile like over here for just firewood, then he's got that really close too. So we don't have to worry about them work, uh, walking so far away to actually do stuff. It'd be terrible if he had to walk all the way down here to get the logs in order to put it up here. And it'd be even worse if we had to put in a market or something like that so that they could actually, you know, collect the wood and instead of doing other stuff. We don't want to do that. So, yeah, we're going to use that trick, and we'll see how well that works out. Unless Colonial Charter 1.6 has done something to get around that bug, we're going to use it. And I don't know that it's really a bug so much as it's just the way it's designed. And down here, we're waiting on somebody to clear things out first. And what's going on is all of our laborers are down here clearing out all the stuff I told them to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to this uh, gear icon here and the prioritize tool, which I've talked about, I believe, in the last episode. But we're going to come down here, and we're going to select our forest lodger here, and we'll see if they get them up and going hopefully here pretty quick. And if they don't, then we'll use the other one to come and build another one. But you can already see they're down here starting to do some stuff already. And even though they're cutting up these rocks, which is great, they haven't removed them yet, so they're not showing up as being removed from here. And the other downside is, is as we go, he's going to want to move all this stuff to another stockpile. If they were logs, he'd just put them on the new one once it was built, but it's not built yet, so he can't do that. So he's going to be wanting to carry stuff all the way down here. Um, and because we're out of space, there's not a lot we can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a little bitty stockpile right here. It's clear. I don't have to wait on anybody to do anything, and hopefully our guys will bring stuff to this little stockpile. And down here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in another little stockpile. And unfortunately, there's a little tree right there. So hopefully somebody will come and clear that out here before too long and uh, get this to move I really want to get this stuff cleared out because I really, really want to put in some other buildings. Um, buildings I really want to do is in the civics building. I really want to get our town hall in, but we can't do that until we start building some lumber, which means we still got a little bit of work to do. Um, and what that'll do is show us census records. It'll also show us like graphs on food production, that kind of thing. And that is very valuable information in this game. But moreover, a town hall will also cause nomads to want to come into your town. Now, nomads are... Uh, kind of a double-edged sword here. I mean, they're they're good. Um, maybe double-edged sword isn't the right term here, but, but listen, they, they, they're, they're good. Um, they increase your citizen, your population of citizens unnaturally. You don't have to wait on kids to be born to do it, and it gives you some diversity in the age, um, so you've got maybe some uh, laborers coming in that are aren't going to all die at the same time, because one thing you'll notice if you play this game without accepting any nomads is all your adults are going to start dying, or they're going to age at the same pace, and they'll all start dying, and then that's not good. Um, and then you got your children left over, and you got to wait for them to become laborers, and usually it works out, but, you know, it's a constant cycle you got to deal with, and with nomads you can counteract that cycle. Um, but you want to make sure that you have a hospital built, or at the very least an herbalist, but a, but a hospital is the best thing, because nomads bring disease. Um, you don't want uh, smallpox breaking out in your village and there's nothing you can do about it. That's the end. You're done. Um, so you want to kind of watch that um, before you start accepting them, but it'll entice them, and you don't have to accept them when they show up. You can tell them to go away, um, and eventually you'll get more. We do also have this town arrival. Now this one won't encourage nomads to come in, so, but it will give us all the census data. And it's just something Colonial Charter adds to the game, and it's it's useful. Um, it looks okay. It's a little strange, can, you know, considering what it's for. It's a little bit of a strange icon, but it does kind of blend in nicely with like the uh, fishing docks. Um, 
So uh, it'd work better probably next to a, a, a trader, but we don't have a trader yet, so I'm going to build it just right here. Um, at some point we'll want to educate our citizens too, and what that'll do is it'll mean twice as long for our um, children to grow up, but at the same time, those children will be smarter and they'll do double the amount of work. So an educated logger will produce, I believe, double the amount of fuel in from one log as uh, an uneducated one. So that's something to keep in mind. And if we look here, we are out of food. That's not good. And our sheep aren't reproducing fast enough for us to get food from there, so that's not helping us any. We are getting some good amount of food from here. We've got wild seeds. I'm not exactly sure if that's something we can use to... Um, it doesn't look like it. So they're probably just wild seeds. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is... We've got a lot of laborers now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump this up to two. We're going to have two gatherers, and we're going to have two people working in the fishing dock. Hopefully that'll help take care of some of our food sorts. Because yeah, we are climbing back up, so that, that's good. I mean, food is getting there. And one other thing that'll help is we're going to put in some roads eventually here, even if they're temporary roads, because they can walk faster on those roads. And our forest large lodge is about, just about done with it, and we'll start getting that going. Let's see, we've got some onions in our small barn, and got builders, so our gatherer has gone away, but what that is, is we've told him to build this, and so this is the closest hat whoops, this is the closest house to that current building, so people don't tend to live in the same houses for very long. Alright, you can see that our stockpile got built here for the wood, so that's good. And eventually we're going to get rid of this stockpile, but we're going to leave it there for them. And you can see this icon up here, it says it's 50 iron, but that's iron, not iron ore. So if you look down here, and you look at this one, you see we have 167 iron ore. We can smelt that before we can do anything with it. If you smelt it, we got to make furnace fuel. So, uh, I'm going to say that's the end of this episode. In the next episode, we are going to work on trying to get up a smelter and get us a tool maker up and going, because we have 27 tools right now, and those aren't going to last forever. Um, and no tools means we're not really building anything. Um, we're also going to make sure our food um, starts going up and we don't stay in crisis here. And we're going to continue clearing this out in order to make room for building a bigger town. Get some more houses up and going. And before I end the episode, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put in one forester for right now. And I will let him cut and uh, plant for the moment. And we may change that up in a little bit. Um, so even though he's at a resource limit of 200, he's still going to plant. Um, and I'm going to actually go ahead and increase our log limit. To say 300. And that'll give us a little bit of leeway here. Um, but anyways, that is going to be the end of this episode. We're going to try to fix this food shortage problem in the next one and uh, do all those other things we were talking about a second ago. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, click the like button. If you don't like what you're seeing, click that thumbs down button. But please let me know in the comments what you don't like. Um, or if you like what you see, let me know in the comments what you do like. Um, Constructive criticism is always good, and it'll do nothing but help me improve these videos. Um, if you do like what you're seeing, click that subscribe button, and I hope to see you next time.